I want to show some examples of methods I use in DaVinci Resolve for secondary corrections. These are from episode 2 of Dr. Fubulus, new web series that's currently available on YouTube. The window on the left is showing the raw shots out of the red Epic cameras they used on set, and I've drawn some power windows in each of these shots to redirect lighting and actually shift the color away from what was there on set because of some uncontrolled circumstances like lawns and skies or in this opening shot, the fall leaves on the trees. That's not the look they wanted. It's an opening shot, so they wanted it to look bright and beautiful, and it wasn't supposed to be fall anyway. So I've drawn selections around each of the elements I want to affect, and then pushed either shade or luminance to get the finished look. Here are the layers that make up that shot. Each one of these, as it turns on, pushes the shot more towards the look I'm going for. In this shot, you've got some dead leaves, the sky isn't blue, there was room for improvement. So I made some selections using hue, saturation, and luminance to limit to just the grass and leaves. Then limited that with a power window on just the ground area to keep it from shifting anything else. The same with the sky adjustment there. You make your specific selections to grab just the sky, but if that's not enough, you draw a power window and track it to keep it affecting only what it's supposed to affect, in this case the sky. Otherwise, it'll look like there's paint on the lens coloring other stuff. In the music video, there's a shot in a bathroom stall that didn't feel right. So I pushed everything to kind of a cyan green. I didn't consciously think that way. I just kind of pushed things till it felt right. And it's kind of a, it's a method I use for stronger looks. You don't worry about skin tone or white levels. You just push the mids around till the space feels right. Then you go back in at least twice. Once to rescue skin tone, once for the highlights, to push everything back to a more natural look. You can see in this shot I made those selections first with the HSL key on his skin tone and then isolated spill with windows. If you can get a clean key, you don't need windows, but this one did, so there they are. I pulled the highlights a little bluer to make it feel more natural and did one last correction to get it matching appropriately with the other shots. Color grading is really just a big balancing act. That's the most challenging part about it. As an editor will watch clips over and over again till the timing's right, you've got to watch the break between two shots over and over again sometimes to make the transition visually seamless. That's just a quick spiel. Thanks for watching. Check out my website if you have any questions, email me or put them in the comments. And watch Dr. Fubulus.